in this problem we need to do some polynomial long division and they're trying to throw every trick to trip us up uh, at us that they can uh, first of all it they're really long so we've got um, you know powers of x that go up to the fourth power and uh, we're dividing by something that's to the second power uh, there's going to be a remainder and they want the remainder in the form of whatever the remainder is over the thing you're dividing by so that fraction added on to the quotient um, that's how we're going to express the remainder. And also, um, there's a missing power of x here. You see we've got a ten, x to the fourth, uh, x to the third, but no x squared term in here. We need to use a placeholder for any missing powers of x. So that's one thing to keep track of. The other thing that often causes mistakes with polynomial long division is just getting confused with all the negative signs and the subtraction. So those are the two things to really keep in mind here. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So we're dividing by 2x squared plus x minus 1. And here we have negative 12x to the fourth minus 10x cubed. And here we have our missing power. There's no x squared term. So I'm just going to put in plus 0x squared. That's what I mean by a placeholder and then plus 3x, and plus 6. OK, now we're ready to go. And this goes a lot like regular long division with numbers. Uh, so we are first going to look at what do we need to multiply this first term here, this negative 2x squared. What do we need to multiply that by to get a negative 12x to the fourth? So I would need to multiply negative 2x squared by 6x squared. 6x squared times negative 2x squared is going to give me a, a negative 12x to the fourth. So I do that multiplication, but of course I have to do all three terms multiplying. So first term, I get negative 12x to the fourth. Uh, 6x squared times x is a positive 6x cubed. And 6x squared times negative 1 is just negative 6x squared. Then we do our subtraction. And this is where it can get confusing with the signs. We are subtracting every one of these terms from every one of these terms. So this is a negative 12x to the fourth minus a negative 12x to the fourth. That comes out to 0. Good. That's what we wanted. Then here we have a negative 10x cubed minus 6x cubed. That's a negative 16x cubed. And here we have 0x squared minus a negative 6x squared. That's a positive 6x squared. OK, so we've done our subtraction. We've been careful about the signs. Then we pull down our next term. So we add this 3x here. And then we start this process all over again. What can I multiply negative 2x squared by to get negative 16x cubed? Well, that would be 8x. So that's going to multiply out to negative 16x cubed. And then I multiply the 8x by the x. That's going to be a positive 8x squared. And then I multiply the 8x by negative 1. That's going to be minus 8x. And then we subtract. So a negative 16x cubed minus a negative 16x cubed is 0. And then we have a positive 6x squared minus 8x squared. So that's negative 2x squared. And then we have a 3x minus a negative 8x. So that's like plus 8x. So that's 11x. And then we bring down our next term, which is the 6. Luckily, that's our last one. So now we ask, what do we multiply um, negative 2x squared by to get negative 2x squared. And that's pretty easy. We multiply by 1. So we get negative 2x squared. 1 times x is x. And 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And finally, we subtract. And what we have left over is going to be the top part of our remainder fraction. So negative 2x squared minus a negative 2x squared is 0. 11x minus x is 10x. And 6 minus a negative 1 is 7. So we have 10x plus 7 as our remainder. 
that's going to go over this as a fraction. So what goes in here is this part. So this is 6x squared plus 8x plus 1. And then plus our remainder, which is 10x plus 7, over the thing we're dividing by, negative 2x squared plus x minus 1. So that is how to do a tricky and difficult polynomial long division problem.